your suggestion for the media personnel who will have to evaluate and talk about uh, if Millennium Development Goals have been achieved or not, if they are worth the effort and what to do next? I think uh, those in the media have to first look at what we have achieved with the MDGs. And so far the uh, progress has been mixed. There are some good examples, some very poor examples. You know, if local governance is poor, you can provide all the money you want, but it will not be utilized properly. So I think we have to bring about changes in the governance system. That's very important and I think the media must highlight that. We must also bring out the importance of this integration of actions. You know, if you have different departments and ministries doing different things which don't come together, the results will be less than optimal. So I think what we really need to do is to ensure that we coordinate all the initiatives by which the MDGs can be met. And this has to be done at the topmost level, at the global level, at the national level, and most importantly at the local level. I think these are some of the issues that the media must bring out. Otherwise, you know, people believe, oh, well, we've come up with the MDGs, money is being spent on it, there'll be no poverty in the world, everything is fine. No, there's a big gap between money being spent, good intentions being put in place, and satisfactory results being achieved. And that gap has to be closed through insights, through in information, and through uh, understanding of what the reality of uh, meeting these MDGs really is. I see a lot of my college mates and to work in the social sector, there's a kind of rising awareness, even in, if they did economics or they did maths, they want to somehow help society. If they usually come from a privileged background also. Now, for such people who want to get into helping, they see only the social sector as the option. Now, is there other ways, other suggestions you would give them? Suggestion to youngsters in general, but also a kind of guidance on how to approach studies and work for helping in the functioning of society, which includes, which works towards a more inclusive development. Well, you know, I think development involves a whole range of stakeholders. It's not just <clears throat> it's not just government. It's not just um, civil society. Uh, it also involves the corporate sector. Now, let's say if a young person who is socially conscious is getting an MBA program, then I think in the course of studying for that MBA program, that person must also understand how he can be much more responsible towards society in business decision making. So I think in each of our professions there is a great deal that we can do. We don't necessarily go, have to go and join an NGO uh, to do some good to society. We can do it in whatever profession we are, we are in. And you know today uh, companies are becoming much more sensitive to this issue, particularly because uh, the public will otherwise uh, regard them with a poor reputation and they have to somehow do the right things and socially responsible acts if they want to make sure that their reputation doesn't suffer. So I think in every sphere of activity young people can be conscious of their role in society conscious of the need for sustainable development. Talking about corporate uh, responsibility, now corporates are made for profit making. Now this is growing uh, corporate social responsibility, but is it just the image which is important for the company, you know, we are socially working because there is a desire of society to work, work towards, it's good to do that, it's positive. Or is there something further? Is, is there a logical reason for which we should work towards logic? I mean, for no, I think there's a very good economic reason for working on a longer time horizon. Because if you only focus on short term profits, then clearly you might be making the wrong investment choices. I mean, 
take the case of investing in housing. A house lasts 40 or 50 or 60 years. Now, if we make it inefficient in the use of energy and 10 years from now, the price of energy goes up very sharply. Obviously, you are going to suffer as a result because you'll be incurring very high costs. On the other hand, if you make a slightly larger investment today and can construct an energy efficient house, then you would be benefiting over a period of time. So I think companies have now got to lift their vision and not focus only on short term profits. We have seen what has happened with the economic downturn of three years ago uh, that was driven only by short term profits. If they had somewhat longer term uh, vision in terms of decisions that they took, we wouldn't have had this problem. So, and this used to be the case in the past, but I think unfortunately in recent years, this pressure from the stock market, the, the, this pressure to only look at the profits you make in the next quarter has had a major impact in making decision making very short term and that's harmful.